Hello, Jeff here. Uh, just doing a quick tutorial on how to download, install, and use Dropbox. Uh, Dropbox is a wonderful program. It allows you to basically uh, move files to their cloud service and then access that from anywhere. Hence the phrase cloud service. Another cool thing about it is that uh, anybody with a Dropbox account can be added to files so that you can uh, transfer large files easily between people. Uh, so for example, um, I like to transfer music with friends. So, you know, I have, those are pretty big files, especially the ones that I listen to and, and, and transfer, uh, you know, so we're looking at, you know, hundreds of megabytes, sometimes a gig or so at a time. Uh, Dropbox makes it very easy to do that instead of, you know, putting it on a flash drive or a CD, handing on the copy, wanting the flash drive back, that sort of thing. So first thing to do is just, uh, Google Dropbox and, uh, uh, it'll bring you to the Dropbox site here. This is the login page. You want to download the app. Uh, and this is Windows 10, by the way. This is what you want to do with Windows 10. Um, I actually use Dropbox on my Mac more often. And it's actually, to be honest with you, it's actually a lot easier on the Mac. So anyway, uh, so we're downloading the app. Down here in Google Chrome, you'll have the little bar letting you know that it's downloaded. So we'll go ahead and open the app. It takes a moment. Asks for permission, because Windows wants your permission for every little thing, and that's kind of, well, you know, it is what it is. Just like anything with Windows, you got to go ahead and download the installer, and then the installer then installs the program. It only takes a few moments. As you can see now, it is installing Dropbox. This only takes a moment or two. While we're waiting for this, I, I will explain another thing that's cool is you can actually use Dropbox via the web uh, on their website. So once you set up your account and everything, um, you can actually set up to use Dropbox through your browser. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that uh, because, you know, there's always security issues if you do things through your browser like that. Not that Dropbox isn't safe, uh, but, you know, it's just it's, it's another step. Uh, if you have the app, it's it's definitely more secure. It's quicker, easier to use, and I just, I personally, I prefer it that way when it comes to using it on my Windows 10 PC. You will have to create an account. Uh, as you can see here on the website, you can actually sign in with your Google account, which will link it uh, to Google, or you can, you know, create your own account with uh, a unique email and password if you wish to do so. Uh, personally, I like to use Google. I use my, I have a special Google email address that I use for everything, uh, and you know, it just it works well for me. So that's the way I like to do it. It makes it easy to remember and to access. Also, it allows all that spam email you get <laughs> from companies like Dropbox and everything else, uh, you know, it filters them away from my primary email address. So that's how I like to, uh, that's how I like to do it. Okay. So now that we have the app installed, we'll go ahead and sign in. Once you've signed in, uh, you get this nice little congratulatory message, letting you know that everything was successfully installed and we'll click open my Dropbox. It gives you a little bit of a tutorial uh, you can upgrade to their to their uh, newer package, and some of it does cost money. It allows higher, uh, you know, a, a higher limit of what you can uh, use in terms of space. But I just need the basic. I don't need a whole terabyte of Dropbox, so I'm good with that. As you can see, I've already got some files in here. These are actually files that I already have, uh, that I actually put into this folder uh, from my computer, uh, my Mac computer, actually. So uh, that just goes to show that it all links together. Uh, for instance, I have a show here by a band called Fish with some songs on it. Uh, that's something I put in here for somebody else. I was able to share that show with them. Uh, so... You know, I have these items in the folder here, so what do I do now? Uh, you know, between my own computers, it's great. It works real easily. I could just drop something in here. Uh, say, you know, maybe my logo photo. I can just pop it in there. There it is. Um, and then if I wanted to share that with somebody else, I would just right-click. There is a share function right here. Just click on that. And then you do need to know, obviously, the email address or the login information of the person you want to share with. So if I wanted to share with, uh, you know, my friend who's a big fish fan, uh, maybe I wanted to send him this uh, file here with the this folder with the fish songs in it. I could just type in his email address right there, click OK, and 
it would then, in a mo- matter of moments, show up in his Dropbox folder. So he would just have to check it. Also, with the sharing, there are other options available. Uh, you know, you can share items as read-only. If, say, for instance, I were to share a uh, a note file or a, you know, like a text file, it could be read-only as opposed to allowing them to edit it. Uh, or a photo file, you could send it. They wouldn't be able to save it to their computer or that sort of thing. You know, whatever you want to do, you, you have all those options. So... Anyway, I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, like I said, it's it's very easy to use. You just have a, your Dropbox app. It has all your stuff in there, and you just, you know, it's very simple to share. So, please, if you like this tutorial, give this video a thumbs up. If you have anything to add, maybe I missed something when it comes to, uh, you know, the Windows 10 version of Dropbox, please, you know, leave a, leave a nice comment below. Let me know. I would appreciate it. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please be sure to hit the thumbs up below. That helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit the little bell icon so you can be notified of all of our upcoming videos. Thanks a lot.